yesterday we solved question one but we didn't finish the part for partial fraction because of time but now we are starting from there so look at this question so this is also one of the question which came in 2024 exam that was under section B question one okay so I'm saying yesterday we talked about the number of stuffs but we didn't finish solving question one because of time so we didn't solve partial fraction question which is question one section B for 2024 so we're going to start from there then we we go to question two so we have the question for partial fraction now partial fraction there are only two things that you're supposed to know you are going to <clears throat> to come across proper fraction and improper fraction so proper fraction is the one that you get for example let's say you have x plus one then down here you have got him maybe x plus one then x minus two so for this type of partial fraction is what we call proper fraction proper fraction is a situation where a small guy is on top then the bigger guy is on the denominator so the degree of x on numerator is less than the degree of x on the denominator because if I expand this it will take me back to x squared that one we call it proper fraction so there is nothing that you're supposed to do you just do direct x plus 1 then you put like that x minus 2 like that then you start working them out now there is a difference now when you have got what we call improper fraction so expect improper fraction that is in most cases that's the question that they like so you can only how can you know that this is improper fraction improper fraction it can only be improper fraction if the numerator has the same degree of x as the denominator or the denominator has got the highest power of x than the numerator so that one we call it improper So for example x if you have got x squared minus 1 then x squared plus what what plus what this is improper because this has got x squared this has got x squared and another situation where you have got x plus 1 then x squared uh -uh. another situation where you have got x squared maybe plus 1 then divided by maybe x plus 2 this is also improper so small guy is sitting down here they are the same so we, we still consider that as an improper fraction under partial fraction okay so how do we deal with improper fraction when it comes from partial fraction so normally what I want you to understand is that uh, partial fraction is a situation where you have got I think you have come across maybe this is like this then this is like this so this is a partial fraction you you have to break it down in a such a way that it should be isolated should be one one okay so that one is proper fraction now um, it's a, a partial fraction so if you come across improper fraction what you are supposed to do is one you are supposed to use a long division you divide it and then you need to have the quotient so you need to come you need to have the quotient plus the remainder then you divide it by the divisor then now you are going to decompose this part that's all so in this case how do we divide which one do we do we put on top and which one do we put in? down anyone who can help me so here is self explanatory because we are dividing this by that so meaning that this is going to be here x squared minus 3x plus 2 the top part will be x squared plus so now what happens here is simple and straightforward what I want you to understand is uh, you are going to have 0 continue so <clears throat> when, we're, when we're talking about long division here I'm supposed to include because after x squared there is x so I'll put 0x plus 1 then I'll start dividing this I, I, I hope you guys know long division so x squared divided by x squared is 1 so I need to put 1 in a straight line where there is 
there is a guy which doesn't have x in this line so it will be here now this one I should multiply it by with everything here with the divisor or we divide this we have divided x squared by 1 we have gotten 1 oh x squared by x squared we have gotten 1 so 1 you multiply everything with the uh, the divisor so that becomes x squared minus 3x plus 2 now you do minus we are going to, to, to subtract there so x squared minus x squared is 0 then 0 minus minus 3 so it's like you have got 0 minus negative 3 that becomes positive 3 so that is going to be positive 3x then 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1 so now I can no longer divide this into this because this is x squared this is x so I can't divide therefore this is the remainder rx this is the quotient qx then this remains the the dividend which is dx or the divisor so now I need to write this in form of this so how do I do that so q is 1 r is 3 minus x I divide this or my 3x minus 1 you can mute yourself 3x minus 1 then d the dividend or the divisor is x squared minus 3x plus 2 now I need to decompose this so I don't have enough space that side I'll create space and put it here so this is what we're going to have 1 plus 3x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 2 now I can simplify the denominator Rebecca your mic is on okay so now the denominator here I can simplify it and say the product is positive 2 the sum is negative 3 so the factors will be uh, negative negative 2 and negative 1 so then the denominator is going to be simplified as in. remember what we were doing yesterday we said you know how to replace this these factors into there you end up having this that's what we said yesterday okay in case you don't understand what I mean there is x squared minus where there's th negative 3x will replace it with negative 2x minus x then plus 2 so you factor out x then you remain with x minus 2 then here you factor out negative 1 you remain with x minus 2 so these now are the same so you write 1 x minus 1 and x minus 2 this is the same as that that's what I said right now another thing that we need to know is after doing that then this now becomes my 3x minus 1 I divide it by x minus 1 then x minus 2 so this should be equal to a divided by you start now 1 by 1 then plus b you divide it by x minus 2 if you want you can put them in brackets it's fine so what you are going to do now is you are going to multiply this by everything here which is the denominator our goal x minus 1 x minus 2 our goal is to cancel out this so if I multiply this by everything here down part and this part will cancel out and I will remain with 3x minus 1 being equal to then here I can clearly see that this guy and this guy will cancel I will remain with 1 times x minus 2 so I will have a then x minus 2 another one it will be b now this and that will cancel above b then x minus 2 x minus 1 
when you reach at this point now equate x equal to equate these guys equal to 0 so for x so the first x value will be 1 another x value will be 2 so the place 1 where there is x let's see so it will be a 1 minus 2 plus b 1 minus z 1 so this becomes 1 or oh, this becomes 3 3 minus 1 is 2 then a 1 minus this is negative 1 then b it will just give us 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 so therefore negative a is equal to 2 divide both sides by negative a negative 1 so a is equal to negative 2 that's the first value that we are going to have so a is negative 2 now let's go ahead and find b now we are going to replace now the remaining one with which is 2 so it will be 3 I replace where there is x with 2 so a then 2 minus 2 plus b then 2 minus 1 so this is 2 times 3 6 6 minus 1 is 5 this is going to give me this is going to be 0 then b there I'll just get b like that not so is this have we made any mistake here Hmm? Okay, so I'm replacing where there is x with 2. If I replace where there is x with 2, what are we going to have? Isn't it? Okay. This is just okay, right? I hope we have not made any mistake. It's okay, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and find this and we end up having, remember we have got our one here, this one. Okay. So we are going to have we are going to have this. Now we are going to replace where there is in. Remember we have got one, the first one. So plus what is a? A is negative two. So here I will just put two to be there, then divide it by x minus one, then plus b is what? b is 5 I divide this by x minus 2 if you guys have followed I don't know if I've made a mistake I don't know but if you have seen that I've not made any mistake then that is also okay okay any question Do you have any question on how to? So, like I said, if you want to access uh, all the solutions for this paper, just log in. Uh, go on our website if you are if you are registered. If you are not yet registered, go on the website and then type Transcended Institute. So, when you type Transcended Institute, this is what we're going to see. So, you go on Math, then the part for past papers. If you click on past papers, you'll be able to see the part that is saying Math past papers solution 2025 so if you click there you'll be able to see the 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 full video for these past papers okay so register with us don't hesitate let's revise together so that is it for this video